I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. We know you got inside with the help of the Brotherhood of Steel. My hope is you've infiltrated them for us. Or, at the very least, your true loyalty lies with us. So let's put it to the test. We have a vital mission that only you can carry out. You up to it? I'll do the mission, then. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the Railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute, who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. I'll do my best. Excellent. Tom devised a way to send a message to Patriot. We can plant a coded message on an Institute terminal. And, if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. I know that I know that um, people like to say that uh, Fallout 4 is not nearly hey, as complicated. Um, I have uh, all right, so I'm siding with the railroad on behalf of Dance because you know I've never liked the Brotherhood. Uh, yeah, uh, but I wanted to open up possibilities, so I kind of followed the Brotherhood storyline, and I let them get me into the Institute. And of course, they turn on Dance. I really like Dance. So now that they've turned on Dance, I'm rethinking my options. So I'm going to side with the Railroad, because Dance is human Glad enough for me. This. So I'm going to side with them. Tinker Tom's got me. I, um, I did meet Maxwell up on the bridge after we did the dance thing. And um, I took a mission that wanted me to target the railroad. So the Brotherhood's going to eventually target these people. And I refuse to let that be a thing. So, I am trying to get to the end game of this story, but not at the expense of some of the people I met. And this is, this is why um, this game continues to surprise me. It continues to surprise me. Uh, every time I play uh, Fallout 4, it continues to surprise me. And yeah, you, you could say like the dialogue options are very limited and sometimes they're misleading. That's true, but if you don't feel like you have choices in this game, you're you're lying to yourself. And I dare say like I feel like there's a lot of people out there who focus too much on quote unquote beating a game and they spend less time just going along with the ride, just enjoying the experience. You know, they chase after trophies, they're look they're looking for platinum runs. Um, you spend too much time doing that and you forget that you're supposed to be in the experience. So there are people that are just you know, there's gamers that just they're out there to beat the game and then there's other gamers like myself who are just out there to have an experience in a video game. I don't think those two classes of gamers can intermingle because some people are upset, obsessed with beating a game and other people are just along for the ride. Take me for a ride. Tell me a story. 
Let me get invested. I want to know. Tell me something, right? So, uh, yeah. Fallout 4 took a, a turn. I start... I think I uh, played through this game like three times. And every time I play this game and I decide to make certain choices, it creates a completely different experience. So, yeah, I, I do feel like people, some, some of the, um, some of the criticism with this game, I don't really see where they're getting it from. I see where they're getting some things. Like, I do get it. Like, with the dialogue options, I totally get that. But as far as how, like, your choices don't branch off, like, they do. I'm not really sure what version of Fallout 4 these people played, but the one I'm playing right now, uh, this shit is getting complicated. <laughs> like, I want to... I want to put an end to the Institute, but not at the expense of the people I have met and I've invested time with. I've fought alongside. I've talked with. I don't want to, I don't want to sacrifice them uh, just to put an end to the Institute, right? So, yeah, this, this, this shit got complicated really quick. So, yeah, I know the Brotherhood is going to force me to kill all these people, and I don't want to kill these people. So, in honor of Dance, who's a synth, I feel compelled to spend time helping the railroad now yeah uh this this shit took a turn pretty quick <laughs> in a really interesting way in a really really interesting way yeah so let's do it all right i'm i'm ready to help the railroad the underground railroad i'm ready to help them uh i've never liked the brotherhood it's always over inflated egos and like I'll tell you one thing about the Brotherhood that really gets on my nerves ever since I met them they squander technology they hold it tightly to their breast and they want everyone else to be held hostage by their influence and that's always that's always been the Brotherhood and they're no different in this game either they're just they're just someone like they're they're a faction I don't like. So I'm I'm siding with the Brotherhood or the railroad right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to help them as much as I can, even if it means sacrificing my own personal objectives. So Tinker Tom! Hi. If you could ever get up. Tinker Tom. Oh, man, you were actually there? Yes. Inside the belly of the beast? I was. No time for that, though. Let's set you up to contact Patriot. I got here one genuine Tinker Tom special. Just load her up onto a holotape, plug her into any Institute terminal, and execute. Sweet. All right. Off I go. Have you met with Patriot yet? Not yet. Give me a second. I will do my best. All right, let's do it. 